Happy Thanksgiving to the Hobo Tech crew. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are gobble gobbling right now. Uh, we're going to be gobbling gobbling a little bit later today. And uh, I decided, you know what? I've been getting a lot of solar questions, a lot of solar related things. I've seen a lot of solar related videos, especially about VHB tape installs. There seems to be a lot of misnomers about it. Um, really, it's one of the best ways to install solar panels on the roof of your vehicle, especially if you have a fiberglass top. Now, if you have a painted steel top and you don't stroke the paint off, yes, it is possible. Um, the VHB tape will pull the, the paint off your vehicle's roof, and uh, you could potentially, if unlikely, lose a panel. Um, but I've never heard of that actually happening. Uh, what you generally should do, and I'm going to go over the exact specifications of what you need to do for preparation of VHB tape. So let's get on with it. Okay, what I have here is the official 3M surface preparation uh, document. It's a PDF you can download, and it goes through exactly what you're supposed to do to prepare the surface for your application. It says right here, most substrates are best prepared by cleaning with a mi mixture of isopropyl alcohol and water. Uh, in other words, just use like the 70% isopropyl alcohol that you buy at any drugstore. Uh, there are exceptions where uh, in some cases, uh, if it's like oily, you use a degreaser. If, um, if the surface, uh, in some cases, might need to be abrased, and, you know, meaning sanded or scratched up so that it uh, adheres better. There are uh, sometimes you need to prime the surface. Uh, porous surfaces aren't going to apply to us, and unique materials probably aren't going to apply either because you're not really going to be using like coppers or anything like that. Um, it does say glass and glass-like materials, but the, the funny thing enough is there, there is no specific thing here for fiberglass. But uh, anyway, you can download this from 3M's website, and you can read it yourself. Let's go on to the next page. Okay, it says, to obtain optimal adhesion, the bonding surfaces must be clean and dry, and then you use your uh, isopropyl alcohol. So it shows right here that you do the solvent wipe, you wipe it dry, you apply the tape to the surface, and then typically when they say roll it, that's for if you're um, doing like skyscraper windows, or they use a roller to put these... Uh, to put use this tape to put the skyscraper windows in. And it says right here, after application, bond strength would increase as adhesive flows into the surface. At room temperature, 50% of the strength achieves after 20 minutes, 90% after 24 hours, and 100% after 72 hours. Uh, handling strength is achieved immediately after application. So uh, it does say bond strength can be increased and ultimate bond strength can be achieved more quickly by exposure to elevated temperature, uh, 150 degrees for one hour. So if you have a heat gun and you want to stand up there for an hour, go for it. I chose to wait 24 hours, and I got 90% adhesion. They show a little, a little chart here for the geeky people if you want to uh, compare it to different temperatures and so on and so forth. So that is the official 3M response as to what you're supposed to do for surface prep. The most important thing for VHB bonding is surface prep. Remember that. So let's go ahead and check mine. Like we said before, this is pretty much what you need to use to prepare the surface of your rig. It's 70% isopropyl alcohol. Now my panels are filthy, but the important thing is right here. I did this bonding 5,000 miles ago, and it's been through 120 degree temperatures, it's been in ice, it's been in snow, uh, it's seen 80 mile per hour uh, speeds on the freeway, and it's still bonded extremely strong. I mean, I can't lift it up. And for those of you who are concerned that once you put it down, 
you can never get it back up again. Let me show you. Right up under here, the panel is bolted. The panel is bolted to the bracket. So if I wanted to take it out, all I have to do is put a wrench under here and I can loosen that bolt and I can do the same on the other side. And then I could actually lift the panel up. It would bend the other brackets, but that's fine. It would be enough for you to reach the bolts in the back, which I don't know if you can see those in there or not, but there's a uh, uh, single bolts back there holding on there. And yes, I'm back here in Arizona at my friend's place. Uh, we're going to have dinner a little bit later. And I figured, hmm, I haven't done a live or almost live video in a while. And I also wanted to uh, basically defeat the rumors about VHB tape not being a plausible way to install solar panels. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're if you have a fiberglass top. Fiberglass cracks very easily, especially old fiberglass. Fiberglass that's been baking in the sun for a couple of decades is very prone to cracking. The last thing you want to do is drill holes in your fiberglass top and have it crack because when it cracks, it's going to leak and then you have to patch it, which is a real pain. And patching fiberglass to keep make it waterproof once it's cracked it's very difficult, especially since you can only access the outside of the van and not the inside of the van. Unlike a boat, like say if you cracked your hull, you can patch it on the outside and the inside. In this case, my roof is padded like a uh, loony bin. And it probably should be because I am loony most of the time. I highly recommend doing a VHB tape install if you have a high top. I know there are some, um, many RVs that uh, you know, they have a rubber roof. It probably wouldn't be too advisable on a rubber roof to um, use VHB tape. It's just not going to be a good surface. And uh, in that case, you, yes, you'd want to drill holes because you're, you're drilling through wood anyway. You're not really drilling through fiberglass. So if you're using a fiberglass top, VHB tape. If you have a steel van top, you can go either way. You can either do the surface prep and do a VHB tape install, or you can drill holes uh, through the top of your van. Uh, typical RVs with the wood roof that's covered in some kind of plastic or rubber, um, those cases you're going to want to drill holes. It just makes a lot more sense. It's just not a surface that VHB tape is really good at sticking to. Now, if you have a brand new RV that's never been baked in the sun, and it's fresh off the factory lot, and the roof is in perfect condition, yeah, you probably could do a VHB tape install on a on a roof like that, and it would be fine. And yeah, I'm sure, I know AM Solar does installs on all kinds of vehicles, and they use, uh, most of the time they use VHB tape. That's where I got the idea from. I actually watched some of their videos, and I went to their website, and I bought the exact VHB tape. There's the barcode, and there's the name of it. Uh, VHB 4950, one inch by seven inch pack of 12. So this is actually from a large roll of VHB tape. This is the cheap way that you can get VHB tape without buying a giant roll of it. I think this is a $15, $20 range. All you need are a couple of strips of this and you can put your solar panels on your, on your van roof or uh, you know, especially fiberglass. So $49.50. That's the kind that AM Solar uses, and that's the kind I decided to use as well. Uh, these strips are very convenient. You can cut them in half, basically, and use, and use uh, and, you know, two strips for one solar panel. So, works really well. 5,000 miles on the road so far through snow, hail, freezing. I've been down to lo low 20s and up uh, well over 110, closer to 120 when I was going through Utah. So... Highly recommended. Use VHB tape. Is it safe? Yes. Is it for every application? Absolutely not. Um, go to their website. Read up on the tape. Read the surface prep document. and Decide for yourself if that's the way you want to go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please share. Um, just hit 350 subscribers. That is awesome. I have some ideas coming up when I get to 500 subscribers, some new stuff I want to implement, uh, another new series. So help me get there, and I'll go ahead and share that. Okay, so that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys later. Hey, thank you for watching our video. 
If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Ernie.